So before we get into this video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, turn on post notifications so you're notified when we drop. And you know you won't be notified every time we drop, my man. Today's video, we're going to react to another Damien Cryer video. Hopefully he... Is this Damien Cryer? Yeah, I think it's Damien Cryer. Hopefully he don't do that uh, that one stuff, that old human trafficking stuff. If he does, we will be cutting the video short. I'm not playing that shit. But with that being said, we they want us. I don't, look, I be I be I be forgetting sometimes. I be forgetting y'all. Since they want us to believe that they that their content is real, we are gonna react to their content like it's real. This chick look good. She got that red hair too. Let me see what she about real quick. Guys, go follow me on Instagram right now, man. Damian Cryer, senior, all lower casings. Mm. Hey, beautiful, how you doing? I'm good. What's your name? Nice oh, where you going? You can't stop for a second? No, I ain't got time. I'm busy. What, I'm too fat for you? I don't know, Sorry to bother you. Have a nice day. Honestly, I don't know if it's me or what, but I, I be thinking, I swear. I mean, it's almost like he views these girls in his video before. I swear I've seen a girl with the, with the long red hair, with the, with the, I swear I've seen her. I don't know if it's his video or what, but I think they be re, I think, I know that they share the girls, but I think that they be trying to be slick and try to actually reuse the same girl to make four or five videos all at one time. Maybe I've just done a lot of these. Maybe I've done a lot of these. That's probably what it is. I've done a lot of these, so. I can't get mad because she's busy. She got a right to be busy. <sighs> Excuse me? So this you? Yeah, this one of them, why? Huh? Yeah, this yeah. one of my cars, why? When you were up, it's nice. Thank you. I know that you're kind of busy, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just, you know, running errands, doing teams, you know, that's all, that's all. Okay. This well, is nice, though, real nice. Thanks, thanks. I just actually picked this up like three or four days ago. Can I look inside? Come over this way for a second. I These cars are sick, sick, crazy. I mean, I mean, I don't, what's your name? Jessica. You, Jessica. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm Damien. Damien, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Why was you so rude on the sidewalk? I wasn't rude. I was just telling you I had stuff to do, but, you know, I didn't know this was yours. It looked nice. I was just trying to see what it looked like inside. You work out and stuff? Mm hmm Okay. I'm a trainer. I mean, since she was mean, don't be getting inside. Can I get a little smell? I don't think I was mean. I mean, you see the legs and everything. Yeah, you definitely fall. Yeah. Now you ain't finna get me shot because I don't want your boyfriend coming around the car. I don't have no. So you ain't gonna get shot. Okay, well, let me let you in the car for a second. Okay. So I'm gonna talk for a minute. I'm gonna open the door for you. You ever been inside a rose before? No. Uh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Mm. Once again, Shorty's still not a gold digger. Like I said, I mean, old nigga in the McDonald's outfit, average person, I ain't going to stop and talk to him. It is what it is. See old nigga walking back to the car, okay, got a nice whip, I'm going to go holler at him. And most of the time, and most of the time, girls don't even come back to be 100 with you. Most of the time, women don't even come back regardless of how your fucking car is. So how they manage to, how they manage to get diffs and go to a whip, and the girl always come back. Hey, it's beyond me. I've seen people not come back to, to, to Lambos and all of that. Motherfuckers, like I said, people care about it, but people really don't care about that shit because that reads okay. First and foremost, you got to understand something. As a dude on that type of level, if you're driving that type of vehicle, that screams multiple girls. That doesn't scream, oh, he's a faithful dude, he's single, he's looking for just one woman. That doesn't scream that to anybody. That screams, okay, well, I know you got a bunch of hoes tucked away. You know what I'm saying? Hell, for even if you got an old school on 24s, you got an old school box that you bought for 1500 and you just, you know, threw some cheap-ass paint over 500 and you threw some cheap-ass rims on there for what, 500 Even with that, motherfuckers going to be like, oh, no, you got a lot of hoes. I can tell. Look at the car you drive. I know girls are... I'm not stupid. So that really screams a lot of, this nigga got a lot of bitches. That's what it screams. Oh, bigger box. Comfortable over there? Mm-hmm. Mm. Real spacious. 
So you said that you was kicking it for Juneteenth. What was you headed to? Or are you just out just out anywhere? Out and about, you know, day party, going to the pool tonight, just trying to relax. Uh, yeah, I didn't think that would be open today. I thought it was like everything was gonna be closed, like they do on other people's. Nah, you know how black people be. We gonna find something to do. Yeah, they ain't showing us no love, no no love on Juneteenth. Everything out here is open. Pharmacies, liquor stores, everything. Everything I, for sure. I thought space was gonna be closed. That's crazy. They man, they do it so wrong, man. But anyway, so what? You single or what? Mm -hmm. I mean, hmm. Uh, okay, okay. How long you been out here? Are you from here? Like three years. I'm from Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Oh, Fort Worth, Texas. Mm -hmm. See, I've never been there before. I've been here almost going on. Well, I've been on here over over three years. It's by Dallas. It's by, oh, it's by Dallas. Mm -hmm. Dallas. Country. It's by Dallas. <laughs> Dallas. So, so what you be doing? Like you in school and stuff? I, yeah, or? I'm in school. Um, I graduate next year. I'm a trainer. So I'll be like coming out here for my clients and training them and stuff. At least she ain't say she a bottle girl. At least she ain't say she a stripper. Shorty says she in school. Um, she says she be doing personal training. So she come down there and she come down here and she train her little clients and all that stuff. So, hey, at least, at least she ain't stripping, I guess. You know, but she seemed kind of manly. Like Shorty seemed kind of eh, like Shorty seemed like one of the most manly looking motherfuckers. That, she seemed like she liked to be real aggressive, like a little aggressive little motherfucker. But once again, ain't nothing too much here for real. I mean, hey, is what it is. Oh, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, what made you come back to the car? I knew you was. Kinda... It was just. It looked real nice. I just wanted to, you know, see what it was looking like. Maybe give it a spin. A little something. Mm. So she was honest about the whip. She said it was a look real nice. See what it's see what it's looking like. Maybe give it a spin. Look inside. She ain't asked dude for no money. Ain't asked dude to go out to eat yet. So hey, y'all see it just like I see it, man. I got to see who recommended this fucking video. I think a lot of you motherfuckers sent me this video to do. Hope there's something good up in it, man. Okay, that's so that's what made you come back. Was this the car? Mm -hmm. I mean, was it the McDonald's shirt or why you? Didn't wanna. I mean, I, you know. Yeah. I mean, was it? I mean, just keep it real. Was, was it the McDonald's shirt? It threw me off a little bit. It threw me off a little bit. Can I ask you why? It was the McDonald's shirt. Okay. And then I just thought you was just walking. I thought you was gonna go in this Toyota right here. See a McDonald's shirt on a man, and he seen him getting the Rolls Royce, a million dollar car, and kind of yeah. make you wonder, right? Yeah, I like mean, what I, you doing? to get this car. No, I actually own three McDonald's. Right oh. here in Houston. Yeah, so I dress like this because I don't just watch my employees work. I actually jump right in there with them. I sweat right in with them. Okay. And they don't even know I own the McDonald's. They, so you just work with them, they don't know? They don't know, yeah. Conflict of interest if they know. Everybody be trying to be on their best behavior. Okay, I want maybe I need to get like you. You trying to give me one of your McDonald's? Trying to give you one of them? Give me one of them. I'm trying to get me a car, too. Oh, I, I was going to say, it, it's all you want is a McDonald's, so you want a car, too, huh? I'm going to use that money from the McDonald's to get the car. The money? Yeah. What that money? Man, that McDonald's going to be mine. Oh, oh, you mean give you the money? Yeah, give me the McDonald's. Give me one of the McDonald's. You say you're on three, right? You mean after us talking for like a couple of months, right? Uh, weeks. Finally, some action. All right, so there's a lot of things I picked up. She said, uh, she said she's like, give me one of McDonald's. She said, to make the money I make all the McDonald's, I'm going to buy me a car like this. You know what I'm saying? And he immediately went to give you some money. Like, nigga, you heard exactly what she said. She said, she, let me get basically, let me get one of McDonald's so I can make somebody like this so I can get me a whip like that. She's not saying, okay. Y'all see how he flipped that narrative. We're going to get back and let him do that little thing. But you see, he, he immediately flipped that narrative, like, give you some money. She's like, yeah, the money the money that I get off at McDonald's, I'm going to get to whatever car, basically. You know, I'm going to put it towards a car. He's trying to flip it like, oh, so you want me to give some money to, to, to get a car. That's the way he's trying to flip it. So y'all got to be, y'all got to actually pay attention and watch what he's trying to do. Now, I will say this. That's, I will say this. That is some partial gold digger shit, right? And only reason why I say partial gold digging shit is because it never it has never it hasn't happened. You know, any, anybody can talk. So y'all remember what I was telling y'all about how younger girls can get older dudes, right? 
And them older dudes will be dumb enough to keep fucking with this girl. And they be like, oh, yeah, I put this business in your name. Such and such. So if anything happened to me, you, you, you set you straight. You remember me telling you that? Prime example right here. So basically, basically, this is a form of gold digging, right? But it's, it's also a form of trying to propel yourself to a higher plateau in life. So you can look at it whichever way you want to look at it. But I did say something about that, and I really do mean that. Younger chicks, younger chicks will go for older motherfucking people who have businesses, who have houses, who have this, in order for, okay, well, I'm set. So if anything happened to him, everything going to be mine. You know what I'm saying? So shorty, is, it is a form of gold digging, but once again, for somebody that's in school, somebody that's doing what she's doing, clearly she ain't got it. Nope. Anybody's gonna ask for that particular opportunity. Well, shit, you got three of them. Shit, let me run one of them. Shit, I I be overworking just right there by them as long as I'm low key owner of the motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just pos positioning yourself to you know whatever make money. But this is a low key form of gold digging. It just depends on if it actually happened. It dep It just depends. Like I said, it, it depends on the circumstances within everything. Weeks. How much money you expect me to give you in a couple weeks? Like 15k, 20k. I gotta pay for school. What are you going to school for? Uh, kinesiology, but that's just like you know your muscles and shit like that. But I'm going to nursing school after, so. I think that's pretty awesome, man. That's that's pretty awesome. So you're gonna take the money that you want me to give you for McDonald's and buy you a car. And then you want $15,000 after us talking for a week or so. Yeah. And this is where it goes back to she's not a gold digger. Because homeboy literally flipped the whole thing. He literally said, so you want me to take the money that I'm a, for, you want me to take the money that I would give you for a McDonald's and then you, and then give, basically give it to you. And then you want me to give you 15000 something for a car. She's like, yeah. That's not anything she asked for, bro. Nothing. She didn't ask for you to give her money for this. She didn't ask for you to give her money for a car. She didn't ask none of that, y'all. If you don't believe me, go back and watch. But if you have forgot, we didn't forget, even though we forgot a little bit at the beginning of the video, but mind your damn business, right? But anyway, Shorty said, give me one of McDonald's, so the money I get off that McDonald's, I can go buy me a car like that. That's the exact words that she said, but he internalized it also. You want me to give you the money for a McDonald's and then give you another 15000 to buy a car. Like, nobody said any of that, bro. She just basically like, make me some type of owner in one of these McDonald's, nigga, so I can get some time, get my money up, so I can buy me a car like this. So, off of, make me a partial owner in one of these businesses, so I can get my money up, so I can buy me a car like this, so I can pay my way through school from the money that I'm gaining from this McDonald's. That's what she said. He flipped the whole narrative, y'all. That's why I said y'all gotta watch these niggas. They think they slick, bro. Right back to not being a gold digger. Just because he wanna flip the fucking narrative. You almost had it, nigga. You really almost had it, but you fucked it up. Trying hard to, to emphasize, oh, I gotta give you money, give you this. You ain't gotta give her no cash, nigga. All you had to do is blow, okay, I can make you part owner here. That's all you had to do, nigga. Dummy. You don't think that's a little bit excessive? No. Look what car you in. It don't Jeez. seem like no problem to me. Oh my God, I definitely Unless this, this ain't yours. Oh wow, now why the f would a gold digger say something like that? Of course it's mine. A gold digger? Did I say that? Of yeah, course. you said that out loud. Yeah, your hair should be gold. Don't get me wrong. That's nah, nah, that nah. red look, look nice on you and you got that dimple popping off, but you're a gold digger straight up, man. Oh nah, I ain't no mother gold digger. You must got the wrong light skin today. No, I didn't say it gold digger. I said gold digger is a huge difference. Oh, you got me up. Light skinned gold digger with red hair. That's, that's, nah, that's really up. You probably be. But you shot at me. Yeah, but I tried to speak to you and I came at you in that respectful way. I was really polite. You ain't being respectful now. If you thought I was a gold digger, well, what would I be respectful? Getting me in the car. You may like, just give you a McDonald's. You may just give you money for a car. And after two weeks, you may just give you 15000 I ain't gonna lie. Shorty seemed like Shorty seemed like she liked girls. Shorty seemed like the manly type, dog. I, for real. Shorty seemed like she's, yeah, she, she'll deal with dudes if she got to. But she seemed like she's more into eating coochie and getting her ass ate from girls and, you know, rubbing coochies together and shit, getting off and playing with fake dildos and stuff. That's just what she seemed like to me. By her her aggressive, she seemed like to me that she's one of them females that don't understand that she's a female and she tries to be the fucking man. 
That's just what I get. Once again, brother, she didn't ask you. First off, she did not ask you to give her any no money. I said any no money. That's hilarious. First off, she didn't ask you to give her no money at first. She said, hey, she said, give me one of McDonald's so the money I make off that McDonald's, I can buy me a car. I can pay my way through school. So she wasn't necessarily digging in your motherfucking pockets, nigga. She was digging in the pockets of the business, brother. So that's a big difference. Personal and business is kind of different. You know what I'm saying? If motherfuckers digging in the pockets of a business, but they're, they're working and... You know, you put them in a position to be part owner. That's different, bro. But she's digging in your personal finances. So, you know, it's like, hey, nigga, give me this. Give me that. Give me that. She only said yeah to she only said yeah to the 15,000 or whatever, whatever. Once you mentioned it, because clearly she probably knew I'm fucking this nigga shit up right here. I'm fucking this nigga video up. So I'm agree with this, agree with that to be, a, you know, be a gold digger and shit. Nigga's not slick, man. <laughs> you got to pay attention to this shit, man. They try to twist and turn and you say one thing that twisted and you know what I'm saying you you liable to say man the grass need to be cut and they and they liable to be like oh so you're trying to tell me I need to pay somebody to go out there and cut the grass just because I don't feel like it you see what I'm saying they they get out they say all of that twist all of that shit around when it's not even that serious when it's very very simple like it could have been explained well hey maybe you know maybe we keep talking maybe we see what's going on maybe I may put you in a manager position at the McDonald's maybe I may give you part ownership depending on how everything rock is you know what I'm saying this nigga went all on the deep end of you want me to give you some money bitch never said nothing about that originally she only said something about that once you said something nigga. now nigga. they be thinking they slick out here Try, trying to swindle a nigga mind they be trying to trick niggas minds man yeah make it make sense so what am i getting you my face so you <laughs> looking at my face the oh, so you're not throwing it back at all well, no nah, i'll give you a workout section we could, like work on you unpicking that back or something but that's about all you're gonna get out of me that's cold. That's cold. The you say that you from Austin? No. Why you gotta call me? Cause you got me, you call me a gold digger. You okay. like you from somewhere, Dallas or something like that. Dallas? Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Yeah. Murder Worth. Is it gold yeah. diggers out there too? Murder what? Murder Worth. We really be people up. Oh. So please don't try me. Uh, oh. Yeah. You need to get the out of here. You, oh, I'll get out. You from a town where they murder people? Murder Worth. Look it up. Oh no, I'm not gonna look it up. Look I'm, it up. It's I'm, okay though. I'm, I'm. Oh, not you, Flinch. You scared? No, just, just. It's okay. I'm gonna take a picture of this license plate. I'll see you real soon. Don't take a picture of my license plate. I'll see you real soon. You'll see me real soon. I mean, this chick says she from murder work, but she'll see me real soon. She taking a picture of my license plate, bro. Listen, man, I'm out, man. This chick is tripping, bro. She just took a picture of my license plate, man. I'll but y'all know what I hate the most, for real. I hate the most, for real. I ain't say I hate the most. I hate people that are fake tough. Like, when they all by themselves, they really ain't gonna do nothing. But once they get around everybody, they go back and rally, they rally their little troops and put a, a, a put a batter in everybody back for shit to happen. But anyways, outside of that, the ending to this video, as far as how Shorty said, I'm taking a picture of the license plate, this, that, that. Typically, shit like that would happen. If you invited a motherfucker in your car to call him a gold digger and all this shit, the motherfucker gonna fuck your shit up. Whether they're gonna stop you, stop, they're gonna do something to damage your damage your vehicle, bro. They're not about to just go easy. Now you can get you a little old, um, a little you can get you a little person who ain't never been in no trouble, who don't want no problems, and they're gonna go about their way. But to ghetto ratchet motherfuckers for real, you know what I'm saying? They're going to try to fuck shit up. They're going to try to scratch your car. I'll scratch your car. Nigga, I'll break your car mirror. Nigga, fuck your car. Ain't no gold. They're going to bust your window. You know what I'm saying? That's the hater in the person. You know what I'm saying? If you ever dealt with anybody that always want to ruin something good, like, I'm going to go, oh, he got, a, he got a new car. I'm going to go over and scratch the paint up, girl. Yeah, that's called a hater. You know what I'm saying? And they can say whatever they want to say, but that's a hater. Point blank period. Because you're trying to ruin somebody's property just because it looks nice. If they had a beater ass car, you motherfucker wouldn't give a fuck about putting on more dents in a beater car. Why your car they they gonna talk about you. That's why your car fucked up a raggedy ass car. I would bust the window, but shit, the motherfucker already fucked up. I can't do no more damage to it. <laughs> but anyways, man, that was a quick little video. I had to get something up for you guys. Um we went too much really there. But with that, but that restaurant shit, that's how that gold digging shit start. 
Especially if the nigga was like 60 or 70 and she was if she was like 23, he was like 60 or 70, then she was fucking with him and he was like, Y'all make you owner of this restaurant. Now that's real gold digging. Yeah, that's smart to position yourself later on in life and all that shit from when shit crash or when he when he go out, when his when his light go out, you got it. But other than that, man, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. But, but with that being said, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And we are out until the next one.